yes it was a setup um i was taking a photo of zero when uh trey came by and said let me talk to you for a minute i was standing on side of zero zero took a couple steps and uh what's up rick zero took a couple steps and trey hit zero just as quick as zero can stumble back trey and several of uh guys that were with them from what I'm understanding these guys were from Atlanta so these aren't even people that's recognizable in the Houston community but several of the guys uh, attacked zero uh, some of you may have seen the footage on the internet I am the guy that uh, is in the background that you may see in the footage um, I did release the footage to TMZ this is what I do I am a content creator director producer in many cases, I contract with many companies to film footage and document what's going on. <clears throat> so, with that being said, uh, yes, Zero was correct. Yes, Trey did ambush him. Yes, it did look like a sad setup. But there's a lot of things that's been going on uh, behind the scenes concerning Trey right now with me uh, concerning the Houston Police Department. I spent my entire day on yesterday uh, at the police department, literally my entire day to six o'clock yesterday, uh, ironing things out concerning uh, the harassment charges that's been picked up with against Trey on my behalf and me having to file. Right now, I do understand that there is some sort of hit some sort of retaliation uh, on me, on my life, on my safety. I do understand that Trey and um, his friends or whoever, his affiliates, are looking for me. I was advised by the police department. I was advised by the police department to put this video out. So uh, I wouldn't consider myself to be a snitch or... I don't live by any type of street code, but under the advice of the police department this morning, I was advised for my safety to let everything be known. So you guys, I'm going to stay on here and share the entire story with you. So you guys make sure y'all pass this video around uh, to as many people as possible. Uh, yes, I am the guy that released the footage on TMZ that you've been seeing. Um, film director, producer, this is what I do for a living. On the 28th, the incident occurred on the 27th. On the 28th, I received a phone call from a mutual friend, mutual acquaintance rather, that uh, Trey had been calling me, had been calling around asking for me. Uh, what you guys don't know right now, because I'm dealing with uh, what's going on behind the scenes, uh, just as well as I'm having to have conversations with the police department, that it looks like an apparent setup uh, on Trey the Truth's end. Uh, Trey had his own cameraman that was disguised just as well as those guys that you see on footage attacking the music artist Zero. Uh, Trey had his own cameraman that was uh, in the audience, that was in the crowd, there's also footage circulating on Twitter right now with uh, Trey across the street from the Kim Son Hotel in Houston, Texas. Uh, there's also footage of uh, Trey and his friends looking at the professional footage and camera. If you guys uh, take the time and look around, you'll see that uh, right after Trey attacked Zero, that he and his friends went across the street at the gas station from the restaurant and uh, watch the video and celebrate it um them actually attacking zero but again under their advice and for my safety i was advised by the police department to put this video out so you guys see me you see trey and his affiliates in the room if anything happens to me um uh, because i try to live my life honestly uh, but if anything happens to me, you guys know that uh, Trey the Truth is involved in it, uh, has been involved in it. Um, I received the call from Trey on the 28th of August, and he told me, I'm going to find some chapstick. Mm -hmm. My lips are kind of dry. Uh, 
he told me that he uh, saw me on his video footage. And he told me, he said, I see you on, obviously he had a camera, but Trey told me that he saw me on some video footage that he had. And he told me, he said that if, you know, I told him that I didn't have the footage because it's my footage, but it's not for him. Neither is it his place to tell me, to call me, and I don't know him. He's a stranger. I don't know him. I don't follow him. We're not friends. We never work together. I don't follow him on social media. This Trade the Truth is just a stranger to me, just like he is to anybody else. I'm not a Trade the Truth fan, but uh, he told me that he seen me on the footage. He described the clothing that I was wearing. He told me that you know, if you have the footage of me, you know, he told me to check my phone. And Trey said that if you have the footage of me, that I asked that you erase the footage. Never offered any money. Again, this is a stranger. Never offered any money. A real businessman, at least, if he was assuming something, would have money attached. Um, the acts did... Um, told me that his career was in jeopardy if I released the footage. He said it would cause harm to his career, which that's something that he should have thought about before he tacked another music artist. He said that he was concerned that if I released the footage that uh, his career would be in jeopardy. And for some reason, he said it would change hip hop. He said, if you put it out, it would change hip hop. You understand that you he told me that I had important footage in my hand and um, that it would change things. It would make things different if I released the footage. And so I'm a director. I'm a grown man. I'm almost 50 years old. Trey have to understand that if he never looked for me, if he never called me, if he never included me in the setup that I wasn't going to release the footage anyway. I shoot fashion. I work with real entertainers that do real things, real jobs. But Trey have to understand that everything that's going on right now, uh, from my understanding, I've heard that he's lost sponsors. Um, I've been dealing with a lot for the past two weeks with the police department. Again, uh, the police department have picked up charges, but uh, Trey the Truth is trying to create a narrative in the background. And what you guys may not know or see to where he's the winner, everybody else is lose, everybody loses. From my understanding, uh, quite a few of his associates, friends, partners, business partners have died in the past. Um, again, Trey is somebody that I don't know. I don't follow him on social media. Uh, we've never worked together. Um, fashion, television, film, content creating is what I do for a living. I work with a lot of entertainers, but uh, you can't have have created a narrative, Trey the Truth, to where you have not only have your own footage, but you're threatening witnesses. Uh, there was a robbery. There was an assault. And a lot was broke down to me this morning uh, with police. <laughs>